Yeah. It's also, you know, it's a mutual respect thing, you know. It's it's putting everybody, putting each other on the same level, you know. It's like, I see you the way you see me type thing. So, yeah, I, I totally get it, man. But, dude, this is, this is a lonely, it is. You ask any preacher, they're going to say, you're never alone. He's always with you. Yeah, he is. But sometimes I need to see a brother. Sometimes I need to look in my mirror, man, glory to God, and see somebody there that's got my back. Yeah, Jesus is always with me. He's with me right here in his gym. Uh, he's here all the time. But sometimes, man, I need to see that somebody's with me, man. Punch for punch, step for step, walk for walk. And, uh, and it gets rough. It's a lonely way. I don't regret a minute of, of, of living for God ever. I don't regret a single moment ever. There's no regret. It's not a regret thing. It's not a remorse thing. It's not a repentant thing. It's a respect thing. And, uh, you know, that's, you, give, you give and you give and you give, man, and you expect to be given a little bit back to. So uh, when you put yourself out there and you willingly give the way we do in ministry, just to have more taken and more taken and more taken and more taken and and then get bombed with a thousand excuses and made up reasons why you know uh oh i'm not coming because of this i'm not coming because of that i can't show up or i'll be there if no no make god a priority make jesus a priority make what you do for god a priority and uh <laughs> and then god will make you one See, people people put God on the back burner. Well, I'll do this if nothing comes up. I'll be there if we don't have to wind up going somewhere else. No. You tell the thing that comes up. <laughs> no, I have this already scheduled, already planned. Uh, you want to wait or let's do it before or let's do it after. But I'm scheduled. I'm committed to being here for this. So it's not people, people are so quick to put everything else in the way in between and uh, then get mad when God don't answer their their prayers like pushing a button on a microwave everybody wants microwave answers for <laughs> slow roasted problems man <laughs> glory to god everybody wants the popcorn answer praise god for the parched corn and you don't get it that way you don't get it that way man everybody is still on the milk everybody's sucking bottles walking around here sucking bottles uh on the milk and uh it's time for people to stand up and want to and desire the word man desire the meat of the word get off the milk the milk don't sustain you. The meat, the milk is just for temporary. The meat is what sustains. So anyway, man, it's all good. It's all good, but it's a lonely way sometimes. It's a lonely way sometimes. And uh, <laughs> yeah, there's no doubt Jesus is always there. He's always with you, no doubt. But uh, man, how awesome is it to know you can stand arm in arm? You know, Moses, when Moses stood there, Josh was in a battle. He was in a valley. God, have you ever been in a valley? Josh was down there in that valley fighting. As long as, he, as long as he could look up there, and as long as Moses' arms was lifted, he was winning the battle. As soon as Moses would lose his strength, Joshua and the army of God would begin to lose. They'd start falling all around him because Moses' arms would start falling down. But as long as his arms were up, they was winning. So he had to call for help. He had to call for his brothers, Aaron and her, one on one side, one on the other side, to hold up his hands, to hold up his arms. And as long as his arms were up, they was winning because they had victory. They was in victory. They was in a state of surrender to God. As long as his arms were up, they was winning. So sometimes we got to call on brothers, man. Sometimes there's, there's nothing wrong with, with, with needing help. What's, what hurts, what really hurts about it, is that when you call on that help, when you call on brotherhood, and they make an excuse why they can't come and hold you up, they make an excuse why they can't come and get your arms, they make up a reason, come up with something, why they can't be there. Put something else in front of God's work, and does it hurt? You better believe it hurts. Anybody with a heart for God has been hurt. That's just the way it is. Being hurt is just part of it. But you learn to grow from it. You learn to learn lessons from it. You learn to get the meat out of it. And uh, every lesson learned, it's another bite of meat.
Don't make it any easier though, does it? We always got God though, man. God is always right there through everything. God is always right there and he's always in control. Love you, man. God bless you.